Oh my gosh, oh my God! Ah, the fuck, dude! Jesus! Ah! I don't even know if we're in focus right now. No one cares about Bird Box anymore. Ah yes, this is the sound you get in a warehouse and it's raining. The review that's two weeks old, three weeks old, three weeks old, we're gonna get the stragglers, the last, uh, the people that just saw it. People are like, what is Netflix? <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Welcome to the follow-up review to Bandersnatch with my special guest, Paul Demetropolis, AKA Demo. Demo, Bird Box was this explosion on the internet with what Netflix saying, how many fucking streams did it get within? 45 million. Do you know what that Netflix. means if people went to the theater to see it? The movie's like 10 bucks a ticket. It's 15. like 600 million dollars or something for your opening weekend. How do you think this happened? Because they released it at Christmas time when everyone's home with their family and they're sick of each other. Why go to a movie when we can just turn on Netflix, right? Sandra Bullock. Oh, I love Love that Sandy Bullock, she's good. Sandy Bullock. Sandy Bullock. I will say this, if I went to the theater to see this movie, mm. I would be furious. Yeah. I've seen everything in this movie before. Right. Done way better. Because I read the book, yeah. which I loved, which was legitimately freaky and scary. The whole time I'm going, this is not gonna work as a movie. Right. Because this movie is not scary. It is not scary for a second. For a second. So everyone's making these comparisons to it. It's like, oh, it's ripping off a quiet place. And here's the thing. The book came out in 2014. And I, when I went to see A Quiet Place, all I kept thinking was, whoever made A Quiet Place read Bird Box. Right. Everything is like basically piggybacking off of itself. And like, it's like this like incestuous book movie thing that like everyone thinks is ripping each other off. And it's like, ah, you can't say it's really ripping off A Quiet Place. <laughs> yeah. Because A Quiet Place is kind of ripping off the book to begin with. Right. And The Happening happened, uh, what, 2008? 2008. Yeah. And it, you know, and maybe the book is ripping off The Happening. Sure. Why you would want to rip off The Happening? Who knows? Yeah. Plan on murdering me in my sleep. What? No. Okay, so Dima, why don't you give us a gr brief synopsis of, of this amazing, amazing tale of adventure. Okay. Clear your mind. <laughs> okay? Pretend you've never seen anything else before. And you've never seen anything that's like a post-apocalyptic, you know, horror thriller. Right. Just take all that out. Right. And then, get ready. <laughs> get ready. Get ready for Bird Box. <laughs> Who are we gonna get? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta cast it big. Let's get Mark Wahlberg. Look, I don't know if you guys have heard about this article in the New York Times about honeybees vanishing. It's the wind, guys. <laughs> That's, I don't do Wahlberg in private. That was actually pretty like, good. Oh, they, Can you I, let me think for just a minute? I just need a second. Dude, I need a second, okay? Why can't anybody give me a goddamn second? Because we can't, like, rely on the fact that it's, like, a shitty script. Right. No, no. We've got to get an A-lister. Right. Who, Sandra Bullock. Everyone loves Sandra Bullock. Yeah. We got a movie. We got it. We're already, we're already set. Okay, we're no, set. Right, good. And, oh, it's based on... It, it's based on literature. <laughs> it's based on a book. Right. So it's got this built-in audience of 10 people like me <laughs> that have read the book, right? I think me and three other people have read this book. <laughs> Something strange is happening in Russia, <laughs> okay? And it's showing up on the news where it's like, Estimated death toll is in the tens of thousands. Don't yet know what is causing the mass suicides in Europe and Russia. Wait Where's a second. Occurrence? You're telling me there's exposition in the news in this movie. In the news. We're gonna we're gonna detail everything that's going on through the, the news. news. In a movie? In a movie. Oh my Cause god. Because we've never done that before. Groundbreaking. Right? Groundbreaking. Like breaking news. Yeah. So anyway, there's a crazy thing going on in Russia. Like there's an outbreak of people going crazy and killing themselves, and they don't know why. You can't, you don't see it. They don't, it's mysterious. But people all of a sudden, they're just like mesmerized and caught in this trance. <laughs> and next thing you know, they're killing themselves. Basically, they're having, their brain is cracking over what they're seeing. But it's new yeah. because it's, because it's on Netflix. Now, Bird Box then has the scene that they keep cutting to, yeah. which is five years later, right. of her with Sandy's, Sandy's got kids. Oh, 
you should know, Sandy Bullock doesn't like kids. Are you allowed to take off your blindfold? If I find that you have, I will hurt you. But, oh, she's gonna have some because she's pregnant and she's gonna learn to like kids. I'm so sorry, sweet girl. I'm so sorry. So now you have all these strangers in a house and who all ultimately end up there with John Malkovich. This is when the movie really takes off. <laughs> no. This is when you're finally like, it was, oh, it's going to get good now. Yeah, it was. Because now was we're going to have now. all these dynamics of all these strangers who've been put together in this ridiculous situation that's like, you know, so, you know, <laughs> high stakes. Well, the world's ending, baby, so you never know. Amazing performance. Heart racing. Yeah. Just like, oh, my God, are they ever going to survive? What's yeah. going to happen? Yeah, and the dialogue in it was just boom. On fresh. Oh, man. Just, yeah. Wait, man, hold on, hold on. Is shit still going crazy out there or what? Are you on your own? Fresh, <laughs> never, never seen these scenarios before. Let a stranger I'm sorry. in the house? He was Are terrified. you a simpleton? Fresh, well, fresh like, like Demo. Fresh like Rotten Tomatoes, fresh right? Like it's Rotten like Rotten it's Demo. fresh, it's certified fresh. Yeah, yeah. How's the movie? Your movie's fresh. Yeah. Certified fresh. It's all that matters anymore. Is but your it, movie certified but, fresh? <laughs> No tense moments no. in the entire movie. Not at all. It's just, it's a flat line movie. Now the conundrum of they're running out of food. Gotta We're running food. out of food. What should we do? Ultimately, of course. Ultimately, but no one ever, no one's thinking stock. As it happens, get out. I'm just gonna call him Get Out. <laughs> Rel, real Rel. He's funny. The funny guy from Get Out. He's in there and he's like, Aah. He happened to work at the local grocery store and he knows how to like get him back there, I guess, because he's got the keys, right? right? So you can get him in the grocery store. You would think though, someone else would have tried to get in the grocery store at this point. Right. The world is ending. Get in there. Mm -hmm. Get that canned soup. Is it covered when they go in? No, well, they just have to like put down a couple blinds. Blinds. What grocery store have you been to where like, oh, yeah. you just close the blinds? What? Anyway, they get there and, you know, Malkovich is like, oh, he just starts boozing up again. And then he does a Trump joke and you're like, oh, it's so now. All of us collectively are making the end of the world great again. You Has there ever been anything that he was actually really bad in? No, he's great in everything, except everything. for this. Except for this. Because it's just, it's just a nothing part. Right. And he's, he's selling it. He's selling he's it. He's selling he's it. He's acting his ass off. New guy, you had a great visit. We really love meeting you. Now, fuck off. Every contact we have had with the outside has brought us death. But here's the thing. As much as I love Malkovich being miscast, no one is out of their element more than B.D. Wong. <laughs> so in the book, there's like this old guy that ends up at the house or whatever, and they end up watching a surveillance video of it, like on a tape. Right. Whatever, and the old guy's like, strap me down. Not once, when I was reading that scene, did I go, I'm thinking B.D. Wong for yeah. this. Yeah, I saw B.D. Wong and I was like, God, why does that guy look familiar? Because he doesn't age. Hasn't yeah. changed. He doesn't age. Congrats, B.D. Yeah. You'll be working for another 30 years. Let's not forget Sarah Paulson. Yeah. That trailer makes it look like she's going to have a substantial part in the movie. Yeah. Ooh, but we're going to really, we're going to put Sarah Paulson at the beginning. Yeah. And people think she's going to be this huge character. Right. Can you move? Mallory, I need you to move. We've been through this. Mm -hmm. That's not how it's going to be for you. It'll be these two sisters. Which might have been interesting, the two sister dynamic through the whole movie yeah. could have been something. It's like a it's a it's a cash grab. It's a switch, it's a bait and switch. It's like yeah. we got Sarah Paulson. No, we don't. Ooh. Right. I mean, if they killed off John Malkovich within the first two minutes of the movie, it would have been. Then we would have had some balls, yeah, right? Like, wow. But then Stay of course, but then of course we would complain. Why is John Malkovich <laughs> casting this if right. he's only going to be in it for two minutes? Right. right? We're, not, we're never going to make us happy. Right. right. But he's all over the trailer. He's all over. Yeah. 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 All over. The trailer. Yeah. All five yeah. lines yeah. are just the trailer of just John Malkovich. You let a stranger I'm sorry. in the house? He was are terrified. you a simpleton? She went to help you. Now we can all starve here in the maternity ward. He was Are terrified. you a simpleton? Okay, so they make it to the the grocery store, and again, uh, John Malkovich has this great and very logical explanation of like, why the fuck don't we just stay in the market? I mean, don't you doofuses get it? We could just stay here. 
We have a uh, year's supply of food and drink right here. We don't ever have to pay, and we shouldn't ever leave. It leads up to uh, one, one of the, Sandra Bullock. One of her best deliveries in it. Cause ever. Because we're not assholes. Because we're not assholes. We're not assholes. Like, we're not assholes. We're not assholes. Uh, then go and get them. All the food, yeah. everything we want, yeah. right? Yeah. The grocery store. Yeah, it's here. Yeah. Though I have to say, It'd be scarier in the grocery store. Yeah. yeah everyone's also, coming. it's like a house, you know, you yeah. got beds, yeah. you got a couch, yeah. you got a shower. <laughs> Can I bring up something? Yeah. So I feel like there was a big change from the book to the movie. Yeah. And that's that they added this element of mentally cr crazy people somehow. You don't know what level of crazy they are that are okay with seeing this. Right. They're seeing whatever they're seeing. And they're like, they're mesmerized by it, but they don't kill themselves. Right. They become like, like cultish followers of it. Yes. I've seen what? I've seen the truth. <laughs> Take your blindfold off. Yeah. And they're like working for it. Right. And they're trying to get everybody to look. Yeah. And it does not Makes work. Sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. At all. And yeah. then like, there's this whole band of people or yeah. whatever that are like, you yeah. know, like. like and they're not like, crazy. They, but they, they I guess they are, are regular, crazy. But their eyes are like regular. But they're supposed they're to be crazy because obviously they're not affected by right, this thing. At except all. they've now gone crazy by this thing to want to like make everyone see it. I don't think so, friend. Take off your blindfold. Stand back. Stand back. She's not moving. But they right? don't. But they don't act <coughs> like the people that are the the worshippers that aren't affected at all. They, they seem all, crazy too. No, the only reason why they seem crazy is because they got the same guy from the Batman movie that's the crazy the guy. The same guy from the Batman movie that's the crazy guy. So it's like, it's like, I mean, at this point, it, shouldn't that guy be going, like, you know, I don't know his name. Strange you know, man. Like, he's a he's strange, like, strange looking dude. Strange man. Right? Yeah. He's kind of like, I don't know, this guy's kind of weird, right? <laughs> yeah. And all of a sudden he shows up and I'm like, shouldn't this guy be asking for a bigger part right. at this point? Yeah. He's in 30 seconds. Right. David Dash Malchian. David Dalsmashian, he's a yeah. strange guy. He's, strange guy. He's so crazy. good at looking weird. We can help you though. No. Go. Right? And you go like, oh, I know that guy. He's the weird dude. Yes. But yes. it's like, why are you getting me the weird dude for like two shots? Right. And who and what what else has he been in? He was in Blade Runner 2049. He was in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Let the whole song play out. He's like human jukebox. And of course he was like, you know, totally in The Dark Knight. Let's go again. I don't know anything! I don't! Them. And, and he, the dude works, yeah. right? And they Obviously, he works a guy. lot. But it's like, I have to look up his name because I just know him as Weird Guy. Yeah. But why bring in him yeah. for two shots? <laughs> Put him in the house because right. he's a way better actor than yeah. the blonde yeah. spiky guy and cop girl. Right. Yeah. Why are you in this? Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, who what, who I, the fuck I, is Machine Gun Kelly? So how you feeling, sir? I feel great. You got an EP out, smartest thing you could have done? Wait a minute, you don't know who Machine Gun is Kelly is? Is that his fucking name? And he's, you sober and bored, huh? I know. I'm know. about to be 46 years old. He had such a tiny part in the movie. He had nothing to work with. A lot of him is just kind of like, so stupid. We are so fucking fucked. So fucking fucked. At the beginning, he's like, he takes out some pills because he's all nervous. The girl is like, I'm, I'm a, a cop. fucking cop. Hey, did I mention I'm a fucking cop? It's like, who, who cares? cares? Rosa Salazar. She's in that big animation movie coming out. You made the biggest mistake of your life. Alita Battle Angel. Right. Yeah. Right. That's her. Oh, get the fuck out. Yeah, yeah, they're pulling it from here. These if you could choose any place to be during this in LA, where would you go? Costco. I would go to Costco, <laughs> Chad. Yeah. You wanna know why? No fucking windows. Yeah. You put down the one gate, well, the two yeah. gates at Costco. Yeah. We're living yeah. like king. I think you could do 100 people for a year in a Costco. Oof. I don't know. That fish is gonna go bad fast. The yeah. first thing you wanna do is eat the fish. Right. Like those crab legs? Yeah. That's first day. First night. It's like, what do you want to eat? Crab legs, everybody! <laughs> from, from basically from the grocery store, they got a bone out of there. They get, they get um, back. Um, there's another girl that's pregnant. She got in the house, right? So now you got Sandra Bullock's pregnant and this other girl are pregnant. 
and and for some reason beyond me, they're gonna have babies. They're gonna go into labor at the same at time. The same time. <laughs> like they're handing off the baton in a relay race. <laughs> yes. And while this is going on, for some reason now, this is when they introduce the crazy people. <laughs> yes. Right, this one crazy British guy he gets in yeah, the house, house shows and up. he's like, all of a sudden he's got sketches. Yeah. Because God forbid we not we, we, we don't allude to what these creatures or entities look like at all. But if you were in that house and you've already let in Olympia, would you let in? No. There's always so there's always someone else to let character. in. Enough, enough is, is enough. enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. If you didn't get here in the first month or so, yeah, right. what have you been doing? Right. Also, if you've been getting through this whole time, yeah. why do you gotta be in the house? Get the fuck out of here. Right. Anyway, so of course they have to let him in because the plot dictates we have to enter a new, add a new threat. What if Christina Hendricks showed up at the door? You were the one that answered it. Would it change at all? Would allowing her? Oh, let her write it. <laughs> let her write it. Let her write it. You know, sussed out the situation in the house, and it's just like, like it. It's gonna be me masturbating in the corner by the end of this, right? Cop chick. She's gonna be a ball buster. I'm not. I'm not into pregnant girls. Right. Two, Two pregnant two women pregnant in the girls. house. Some some hot girl shows up. I'm gonna risk it. Why not, right? Come on. So how would you justify that to the rest of the people in the house? You let a stranger I'm in sorry. the house? He was Are terrified. you a simpleton? I'd be like. Guys, we've let worse in. We let a pregnant woman in. And coming down to hitting on people in the house, Trevante Rhodes. He's a good actor. Yeah, my problem was is that I just felt like he was acting a little too slick under the circumstances. Obviously hitting on a pregnant Sandra Bullock. Could have been your, your babysitter. My hot babysitter. I don't know if I'd ever even go that angle, even in a situation like that. Cause I just don't know what his MO is. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. It's like, well, I'm just going to secure the, the I'm best out of the group. Out Maybe. of the two pregnant women, right. he's decided Sandra Bullock's the better looking <laughs> one. Right? He's got his mind on the long game. Here. Right. And then basically the rest of the movie is just filled with these forward flash. The intercut, of... intercut throughout the whole movie is 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 Sandra Bullock because I never what what is your character's name Mallory Mallory yeah well you hear it a billion times from the kids yeah okay Mallory Matt here's also they all know her name but yet she she chooses to name them boy and girl yeah, boy and girl what yeah is this some sort of oh we're gonna, gonna get biblical there they're gonna be the surviving children yeah. we'll start them as boy and girl yeah and she ends up naming the girl Olympia but Olympia was telling Mallory how much she wanted to name her after a Disney character. So it, it should have been Jasmine. You know right. what I mean? Would have made more Ariel. sense. Yeah, than Olympia. Right. The the big reveal in this is of course one of these children is Olympia's, which was given away from the beginning. Fairly you early. Know, you know Sandra Book's having one child, and you know why she's rolling the boat, she's got two kids. Right. So all you gotta do is go, well, Patty Cakes is gonna die. Yeah. Sandra Bullock's gonna go, I guess I gotta raise them both myself. Right. That's your big thing? That's the big it thing. It takes yeah. no brain power. But you could throw in this wrench, would have, which would have made a way better reveal, especially in the part where she had to choose which kid is gonna have to take off the handkerchief during the rapid. That's the only good scene in the movie, because the only really good performance in this entire flick is the little girl who realizes, <coughs> like, all right, she's gonna go with this guy because that's really her son. And she's not really, that's not really her mom. Right. So she sort of has sussed it out that it's like, all right, she yeah. loves this kid yeah. more than she loves me. I'll do it. So yeah. I'll take the bullet here yeah. and I'll be the one that whoo, peeks yeah. out of my thing. Yeah. Like, like that little girl, she sold gave it. it, sold it. Like prop, whoever that little girl is, like cast her in the next whatever. Yeah. Cause she's good. Uh, was there anything that you actually liked about the movie? Yes, there was. The big thing was I didn't have to go to the theater to see it. I just watched it on Netflix and I was like, Thank God I did not pay to see this movie. Netflix bug, yeah. costs what? 12 bucks a month, yeah. right? This movie alone probably at the theater would have cost me $17 on a Friday night. Yeah, so sure. it saved me money. That's the big win here. Yeah, that really actually shows something. If you could stream 
a big budget movie, it might actually make more money. But, uh, but they do that. want individual ticket sales because right. I can have my Netflix account. Hey, I just got, you know, this big thing. 17 people come over to watch it. Yeah. That's 17 people that would buy a ticket that are now going off of one $12 a month service charge. You that's, could. that's how many yeah. eyeballs. If they could figure out a way to, to is say, it's just, you just pay five bucks to watch this on Netflix. Five make bucks. It, make it such a good number. Five that bucks. It, you can't turn it five down. Five bucks and the whole family can yeah. watch it. So 45 right. million times five bucks. So if you buy it once, then that's it. If anybody else is using your account, they, they wouldn't be able to buy it again because they, they would have to put it in a different credit card. To get around that, what if you did it five bucks to watch it once or ten bucks to have it forever? But still, ten dollars is way cheaper than anything you're gonna pay at the theater. Spending ten dollars on a movie, if I'm owning it? Yeah. Marketing wise, of going, that would be really interesting. It's like, can you validate charging extra for a service that you're already paying for? For premium content. You know what I mean? You get a Harrison Ford movie, you get the new Jaws movie. The new Jaws with Harrison, Harrison Ford, Ford is Quint. Quint. Uh, uh, Sam Rockwell. Sam Rockwell is Brody. Is Brody. Who is Hooper? Who do we come up with? Jake, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> That's our pitch for the new Jaws remake. Sure. Could you justify it? Do sure, you know I mean? but the problem is the, these studios and these streamers, they're going to charge you 50 bucks for the movie. But would more people stream it than people would physically go out to the movie? Could you really break that barrier and go, people just want to watch it at home? There's part of me that still loves the movies, but I did watch Roma on Netflix. Mm -hmm. I watched it on my laptop of all things. I can see how I would absolutely positively want to see it in the theater yeah. and how it would be a different experience. For sure. At the same time, watching it at home allowed me to cry like a baby and not be embarrassed. Right. When I saw Get Out, I saw it in a theater <laughs> The crowd, it was it was definitely an audience movie. Yeah. I saw it four months later at my friend's on his on video with four other people that had never seen it before, and it did not play for them. Yeah. It's a balancing act. It's, it's like it's pros act. and cons now yeah. between whether you want to watch the stuff at home or not. What did you think of the overall casting of the movie? John Malkovich is available. He is? Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Imagine how, sitting how do you even there approach him? Trying you know I mean? to direct John fucking Malkovich, yeah. man. Knowing, knowing you've got a shit script. <laughs> shit script. Right? And shit it's like, lines. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and that's when I just go, hey, do your thing, man. Right, just like, do your just, thing. Just, we're banking on you <laughs> and, and, and Bullock over here <laughs> yeah, to sell this, this, okay? Because yeah. you got to save this. What, what's Who's cool and what's... A, hey, everyone loved Get Out. Right. Get the funny guy from yeah. Get Out, right? Yeah. Sarah Paulson, great. Sandra Bullock, great. John Malkovich, great. Jackie Weaver, the guy from Moonlight. Trevante, Trevante Rhodes. Rhodes. He's good. These are all... They're like, Didn't hey, we got a good guest. The British guy, Tom Hollander. He's a good guy. All in nothing parts, man. Right. Like, but even like some of the characters, like Lil Rel, he, for some reason, I don't know why he's wearing his supermarket outfit through the whole movie. Charlie, did you learn all of that working at the supermarket? No, I've been just studying it for years. Why are you wearing the vest? Take off the vest. The Oral. second I left any kind of job like that, the first thing I did was get out of that uniform. <laughs> yes. No one's like, hey, you know what? I just got out of work. I'm going to wear all my whites from the Cheesecake Factory while I, go, <coughs> while I go shopping. And there's this illogical shit happening in the movie. They're at the market and they hear someone in the ice cooler. Guy's pleading for his life. He sounds normal. Tom is always opening doors for people for some reason we don't know why but it's like stop opening and letting fucking people in what I'm gonna I'm gonna open the door no I, there's a there's a person out there there should be two lamps one on either side of the door I'm gonna hand you a blanket and I want you to drape it across both of them okay it's only Tom doing it and Charlie decides the only logical thing to do is sacrifice himself and jump into the cooler with the guy ah! <laughs> If I was at the market and I heard someone in the in the freezer, I would tell Malkovich, you stand here. Right. When I open that right. door, you fucking blast yeah. into that fucking door. That would be logical. Shit is hitting the fan. When have you ever gone in a grocery store and there were birds in there? 
with flowers. There's no birds! Right. You don't get birds in a grocery store. No, no, it's cross-contamination. It's like, oh, how handy, someone left these two parakeets right. here. Oh, the yeah. birds freaked out when Crazy Man tried to bust mm, through the door. We'll use the birds. We'll use the birds, great. Yeah. But all you gotta do is not fucking go anywhere. <laughs> yes. You know, going back to the house scenario, I think, you know, what they should have done is pulled your greatest fears out in that if you were in that house, having sequences of like overhearing people talking about you and becoming more paranoid. I'm expendable. What's my importance here? Right. You know, what am I bringing to right. the group? There was no friction between the two alphas in there, which was John Malkovich and Tom. I mean, those are the two obvious leaders besides Sandra Bullock. If they would have shown a little bit of that friction, you know what I mean? Of like that confrontation finally kind of happening between the two, uh, is something that would logically happen. Because if it's everyone for themselves, it's going to be a shit show. There's a, there's a darker, grittier, scary movie there somewhere. Yeah. And it ain't on the Netflix. Yeah. Man. I'm at the point now where if you have a great book, don't even bother making it a movie. Yeah. Make it a series. Give me 10 episodes yeah. and get into it. Demo, thanks again for stopping by. Yeah. I know you're gonna be doing a lot more of these on your channel. What's your channel called? Demo, damn it. It's being, it's under construction right now. It's but... got builds videos. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching guys, Demo. Thanks for coming. Thanks for having me, Chad. En enjoy your drive home. Oh God. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode and we're gonna do another one very soon. Thanks for watching. Guys. So, all right, Demo, what, tell me some of the things that you actually liked about this movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that I liked. <laughs>